Hey guys, so it's pretty early. Um, I'm gonna do an arm workout today. Um, I'm gonna film it because I'm working out inside because it's raining. It's pretty rainy today and everything outside will be wet. So what I'm gonna do is I have some two kilo weights and some resistance bands. So I'm gonna try and put two and two together. I'll try and put some resistance on the weight. Maybe for shoulders and triceps I won't do that. Um, but for biceps I will. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of a warm up and um, then we'll get into it. So I was gonna put these down for a quick second. Right, so I'm just gonna grab a resistance band. Let's grab the blue one. They're meant to be different levels. So pink is meant to be light, blue is meant to be medium, and green is meant to be heavy. So if the camera makes that backwards, but to me, to me they don't seem any different. They seem the same. I don't know if I'm using them wrong or not, but they just. I need to get proper resistance bands, but these are just gonna have to do for now. So, I'm gonna do some shoulder breakers, just to sort of, sort of warm those shoulders up a little bit. And go around in a circle. Alright, so just shake it out, do a little bit more, and then I just like to stretch a little bit. Alright, so we're going to get into the first exercise, I'm just going to get shoulders out the way. Um, so the first exercise I'm going to do is lateral raises. Um, I'm probably going to try and do maybe five sets of 12. Uh, if I get tired, then I'm just going to bring down the reps to 10. So I'm going to do this first set normal, and then I'm going to go into a time lapse just so it's not too long for you. So. Everything's cracking. I just did 15 then. Because I'm too used to doing like 15 and that. So, um, so I'm going to do the rest of the sets in the time lapse. Like I said, just so it's not too long for you. And I'll catch you when it's done. Alright guys, that's lateral raises done. Um, so now I'm going to move into some dumbbell shoulder press. Um, so it's going to be the same thing. I'll just film the first set like normal. Then we'll go into a time lapse. I have headphones here and I'm not even using them. Um, so, let me just quickly put something on. I'm using my spare iPhone that I have. So let's move into our shoulder press. Let's 
just go into the time lapse. Alright, so then we want to triceps. I'm going to do some tricep extensions. Um, so that's probably the only exercise I'm going to do for triceps, just because when I do the tricep kicks, I don't really feel it in my tricep that much. So I'm just going to do some kicks. Ah, uh, kicks. <laughs> Sorry, got confused there. I'm going to do some extensions and then we're done for triceps. If I was outside, I'd be doing the cable extensions and obviously the push downs. But I'm just trying to improvise at the moment. So let's start. So I'm going to be using both dumbbells. Just doing over here. So let's get into the timelines. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to bicep curls. So what I've done is I've just wrapped the resistance band around the dumbbells. It'll just give it a bit more resistance. So if you don't have heavy weight, um, just try this and see how it goes. You can use resistance bands on its own too. It's up to you. Um, so I just like the a lot of weight. So like I'm gonna I'm gonna superset uh, the bicep curl with the hammer with the hammer curl. So. the hammer curl now so it's like a bicep curl but it's hitting your brachialis muscle um, your brachialis muscle is in between your bicep and tricep so the reps in a time lapse and I'll see you again. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for the workout. Um for the biceps I only did four sets um because using the resistance band and you know having weight it really burns out your muscles. I'm actually really sore. Um, so I'm just going to have a, I'm going to have my post-workout meal now. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit, I'm just trying to fix it while I, while I talk to you. So, I'm going to do that. Um, uh, when you're doing weights, make sure you do the weight that you can. Um, you know, make sure you do have a spotter if you need one. Um. So, and make sure you're doing full range of motion. Really get that squeeze in the muscles. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, that's all I got for today. Um, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, 
Thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you in the next video.